time to pray. It's time, it's time, it's time, time, time to pray. It's time to pray. I celebrate you and God bless you. You are welcome. Welcome to Prophetic Prayer Half Hour. And we are grateful to God for what God has started with us. And in the name of Jesus, we will continue celebrating. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I want to say congratulations to you. Get yourself ready for what God is set to do. Now, please do this. Call your family members. Call your loved ones to be part of what God is doing. Do not forget to share. Share this video. Like it and subscribe. All right? Join the, uh, the page right where we are. Just go ahead and follow us on all our social media network. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Today, we are dealing with something very important. And what we are dealing with is exempted from hard times. Exempted from hard times. The Lord is taking you out. You have been exempted from any form of hard time in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to know something that there is a, an evil day for everybody. An evil day, an evil day. It's an evil day for every man, every woman. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not see an evil day in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, but don't forget that um, hard times are prophecies. And so a man of God was ministering in the program and he said, hard times are prophecies and you don't pray for them to stop. You don't pray for hard times to stop. You don't pray against it because it will keep coming and coming over and over. Isaiah 60 verse 2 declares that uh, uh, clearly uh, darkness covered the earth, gross darkness the people. So it means it will keep going and going, keep increasing and so on and so forth. So do not pray for it to stop, but you can pray to be exempted. And that is the prayer we are praying today. You can pray to be exempted. Why evil is happening? That's what the Bible says. When others are saying there's a casting down, we shall say there is a lifting up. Why? Because we are exempted. Now, when poverty is looming in your environment, you shall be exempted. When shame is looming in your environment, you shall be exempted. When people are failing in your environment, you shall be exempted in the name of Jesus Christ. We are about to pray a very serious prayer and we're going to take it from Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. Let's look at this scripture carefully. Let's go. It said, And behold, the day cometh that, that shall burn, watch this now, as an oven. My God. The day cometh. This day shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stumbled. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Imagine a man that have a beautiful business all around. The day cometh and it shall burn. And then this same day will not leave them with nothing to write home about. Imagine a person that is, you know, blessed all around. The day cometh. And when this day come, all his businesses in different places, all the branches of his business begin to do what? Go down. Is that your portion? No, it will never be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. And I want you to, while we're praying, go ahead and share. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and subscribe. Prayer number one. You want to pray from the depth of your heart. Oh Lord, in my life, there shall be no loss. In my life, Lord, there shall be no loss. Do not forget, the day comes. It's an evil day for everybody. But it's a the day comet. And we are exempted. I will show you. Don't worry, we are still going on. And I will show you. I will show you how you'll be exempted. We, are, we will be exempted. But as we pray, you are praying to be exempted. You are praying to come out from every negativity. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. You will declare, Oh Lord, in my life, there shall be no loss. No loss of business. No loss of open doors. No loss of increase. No loss. No loss. In my life, there shall be no loss. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, 
Oh Lord, in my life there shall be no loss. Oh Lord, in my life there shall be no loss. Go ahead and begin to pray. Maskota la baya bana baru da baya da dasha. Reka baya la baya da baya da dosha. Reke teke teke suta. Shata kapa ya la baya dosha. Reke telecha. Rapa baya da baya da dosha. Reka kala kato kapa ya. Shata kapa la kato kapa. Reka kato la kato kapa. Reka kala kato kapa. Reka kala kato kapa. Shata kapa la kato kapa. In my life, there shall be no loss. Asata kapa kata kata, shata kapa kala. Oh Lord, in my life, there shall be no loss. Oh Lord, in my life, there shall be no loss. Shata kapa yada, shata kapa roda yada. Rakapa kata kata, andruto. Shika, shete kete kete, reke seke te, reke seke te, reke seke te, reke seke te, reke seke te. Jesus, I prophesy there shall be no loss in your life. I prophesy there shall be no loss in your life. I prophesy every form of falling and rising in your financial life is dealt with right now. In the name of Jesus, 
I declare from today, begin to enjoy the goodness of God. Begin to enjoy the glory of God in your life. There shall be no loss in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead. You know, we have 30 minutes to spend. And we have a lot of prayer, but we'll just take two more. And then look at verse 2. That is, Isaiah chapter uh, uh, Malachi, please. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2. Look at that. Malachi 4, verse 2. And the Bible said, God unto you. Now, after declaring this dangerous day, after declaring this wonderful, dangerous losses, in verse 1, he continued and said in verse 2, But unto you. Oh, I don't know whether you are seeing that. But unto you that fear my name. But unto you that fear my name. I'm going to just choose that. Let's hold that there. Let's hold that there. Because we're going to pray the next prayer. But let's hold that there. But unto you. I told you yesterday. When you see the word but, you know it's an exemption. But is an exemption. But unto you. But unto you that fear my name. Oh. See, there is something called the spirit of the fear of God. The spirit of the fear of God. Listen to me. When the spirit of the fear of God comes upon you, it cultures your system. It cultures your body. It cultures your members to fear the Lord. The spirit of the fear of God is a master. When it come upon you, it's like an anointing that resists you from falling into temptation. And when you see it, you overcome because you have the spirit of the fear of God. <laughs> and when the fear of God is in you, you become exempted from what? From dangerous times, from hard times. You become exempted. And let me hear me, hear me. When you are exempted, you are promoted. When you are exempted, you are promoted. We are going to pray prayer number two. It is important because when the spirit of the fear of God come upon you, you are exempted. Now that is what he's saying, but unto you that fear my name. Unto you, but unto you. It means others can fall. But you, you that fear my name, you won't fall. Others can mess up, but you that fear my name, you won't mess up. Prayer number three. You will pray this prayer with the whole of your heart. The spirit of the fear of God come upon me now. Oh, thou spirit of the fear of God, come upon me now. That's the prayer. Thou spirit of the fear of God, Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer now. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer now. Oh, that spirit of the fear of God, come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Spirit 
The spirit of the fear of God is upon you, 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 is upon you. In the name of Jesus, I hear God saying to me as to tell somebody, your time has come. Your time has come. A major liberation is happening on your behalf. Something is turning around for you. I don't know, I don't know. They say, lady, the Lord is talking to me. I see, I see a lady like, like a little child. Something, something is wrong with the ear. It's like, like a pause so or something has entered the ear, like a pause. As I pray right now, I see that thing falling out right now. It's falling off right now. It's falling off now. In the name of Jesus, the, the Lord opened my eyes and I've seen it falling off now. Falling off right now. In Jesus' name now. If you're the one, write at the comment section quickly and then by the, the phone number on the screen, go ahead and send us a message or give us a call even right now. We'll be able to reach out to you quickly and pray with you because it's falling off in Jesus' name. There is a man, you can walk well with your leg. I don't know, it's not time for him, but the Lord is healing right now. The Lord is healing right now. A man, you can walk well with your leg. The Lord said, I just healed you right now. Just got healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's a man at his bed waiting, your bed waiting, and God has to tell you, you are healed. You can now get up and begin to walk. Rise up and begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a lady, you've been suffering from a particular illness, and this illness has been there for a long time. I see the angel of God coming in right now to quickly heal you. That lady, get yourself ready. The angel of God is coming to heal you right now. You're healed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. We're going to do a third prayer, and very, very important, and we go to the top. You see, verse 2 of the scripture says something very, very, very important. It said, but unto you that fear my name. Watch that. He went further and said, Shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing? No wonder the Lord is healing people right now. The Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go forth and grow up. You shall go forth and grow up. Does this make any sense to you? You shall go forth and do what? And grow up. It's time to begin to go forth and begin to grow up. Every sickness in your body, I prophesy, they are shut down now. 
In the name of Jesus, every sickness in your body, as we pray this third prayer, as we pray now, they are shut down. Financial sickness, stagnational sickness, sickness of any kind, they are shut down in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time to pray this prayer massively. And we're going to pray. Prayer number three. Oh Lord, from now into 2024 and beyond. From now into 2024 and beyond. I shall be healed in every area of my life. I shall go forth and I shall grow up. I shall go forth and I shall grow up. I shall be healed in every area of my life. And I shall go forth and I shall grow up. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray from now into 2024 and beyond, I shall go forth. I shall be healed in every area of my life. I shall be healed in every area of my life. I shall go forth and I shall grow up. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer right now. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Jatamande. Jesus, I pray. I prophesy. You shall be healed in every area of your life. Every sickness is hereby tarnished and destroyed. Yes. You don't have that growth in your eye. How can growth be coming in the eye? It looks like a boy. Before, before you know, it's now growing. I'm seeing a growth in the eye of somebody. A growth in the eye of somebody. Right now, as I'm praying for you, that evil growth disappear. 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 In the name of Jesus, that growth disappear now. Vanish. Vanish now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I hope you have your anointing all here with you. Because we're going to be anointing ourselves. And that growth you are anointed, it disappears instantly. You have a growth in any area of your body. The Lord is healing you right now. That pain, that growth, go now. In Jesus' name, out. Go permanently, forever, in Jesus' name. I hear a sound of celebration somewhere. Who is celebrating? Who is celebrating? Call us, call us, call us on the land. We need to hear and join you and celebrate with you. We need to hear, let the world hear what God has done for you. Let the world hear what God is doing for you. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. I'm super excited for you and God bless you. I hear celebration in the realm of the spirit. A family is celebrating right now. Something just happened in the name of Jesus Christ. Instantly, I see the spirit praying this prayer. A child is on conversion. The child is on conversion. I declare the healing power of God. Touch that child now. In Jesus' name, I speak death disappear. Death disappear. And anybody dead, if a person is there right now, let the sound be increased. Take it to the ear of the person. Now you dead, 
Come back to life. In Jesus' name. Come back. That's it. Come back. Come back. Come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs is not working. Get up and begin to walk. You are healed in Jesus' name. Eyes cannot see, begin to see in Jesus' name. Ears cannot hear, begin to hear in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God touch you and set you free. Migraine headache just disappear right now. Check it. It's no longer there. That feverish condition in your body has just gone. By the power of God, you are healed permanently in the name of Jesus. I see a house sparking with electric. A house sparking with electric. The Lord, take, let that be peace right now. Peace. Be still in Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations, the devil is a liar. You are healed and free and delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Now, if by chance you're watching this broadcast and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you may be praying in vain and praying amiss. Why not surrender now to Jesus? Pray this prayer with me while you surrender. Say this with me. Let's say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. Today, come into my heart. I accept you into my heart as my Lord and my personal Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer just like that, you are now born again. You are now a child of God and a sanctified child of God. Go and sin no more. Join the Bible, believe in church, and God bless you. You can reach me on the numbers you can see on your screen. And your life will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. There's a family trusting God for serious financial issue. Trusting God for serious financial issue. You're crying and praying tomorrow is Christmas. And you don't even know what you're going to you know, use or what you're going to eat with and whatever. Calm down. Calm down. The God of 11 hour will do it before tonight run over. You'll be surprised how God will change the story for you. Tomorrow Christmas. You will celebrate beyond your calculation, beyond your expectation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say congratulations to you and God bless you. Your miracle is sure. Your life is transformed. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Make use of our, um, our uh, the platforms and the account number there. Give in your offering as you are led. Give in your seed, whatever sacrifice that the Lord will be leading you to do. And I pray for it right now. It's time for offering. So I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord bless your offering, the Lord increase you, and the Lord lift you higher and higher. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Go ahead and give your offering, and God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen to me. It's time to bless the oil. I want you to get yourself spirited, lifted, and be very serious. What is coming right now is heavy. Open your oil, lift it up to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Dear Father, I thank you for this oil. And I declare that this oil is blessed in the name of Jesus. And there shall be no loss whatsoever. For the hand of the Lord is upon this oil. And we're not going down. Forward ever and backward never. Everyone that is anointed by this oil, you will never go down. In the name of Jesus, now anoint yourself in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and anoint yourself by this oil. Go ahead and anoint yourself and enter the place of prayer. Begin to talk to God and begin to pray. Activate the things that concern your life and destiny. God has done it for you. You are now a blessed man and a blessed woman. Your life can never remain the same again forever in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. I'll be coming your way again tomorrow. And yes, it's Christmas, but we are going to be enjoying our Christmas 30 minutes of our Christmas. We're we'll doing it together tomorrow, praying in the Holy Ghost, enjoying the presence of God. I am excited. I mean, super excited for you. Do not fail. Don't miss it. God is always God. Tomorrow is going to be a great day for you. Your life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Somebody can still pray. Someone need this prayer. Someone need this prayer. Share this video, like it, send it to someone that needs this, uh, this, this, this prayer. In fact, this is the best Christmas gift, you know, to send today and tomorrow morning. Let someone pray this prayer. Share the link. Join us on YouTube. Join us on our social media network. All over, your life can never remain the same. You're blessed in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. We love you. We, cherish, we celebrate you. We cherish you. All of us from Threshing Floor and all our team 
13 of the prophetic prayer half hour. You are blessed and lifted in Jesus' name. God bless you. I see you tomorrow.